गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर एटीन ऑफ अप्रिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री लेट स्टार्ट विद Which portal is launched by the Central Bureau of Narcotics to simplify the licensing and exim authorization? So, Unified Portal of Central Bureau of Narcotics has been launched by the Central Bureau of Narcotics, and objective is to simplify the licensing and exim authorizations that are issued by the bureau. So, this portal was launched by the Revenue Secretary. Mr. Sanjay Malhotra, okay, and this portal would basically enhance the efficiency, transparency, and accountability in the department users with twofold objectives. First is to cater the need of pharma and the chemical industry, and second is to ensure the availability of essential narcotic drugs and the medicines. Fine. so which portal is launched by the central bureau of narcotics to simplify the licensing and exim authorization answer would be unified portal of central bureau of narcotics next is which space agency has released the image of crab nebula so crab nebula is a supernova remnant and pulsar wind nebula that is found in the taurus constellation which is located 6500 light years from the earth and its image has been released by nasa and the image was captured using imaging x-ray polarimetry explorer spacecraft fine so using this spacecraft scientists have mapped the iconic crab nebula's magnetic field in the greater detail than ever before so only thing here relevant is which space agency is associated with the image of crab nebula answer would be nasa Next is where is Zojila tunnel being constructed So this tunnel is first of all Asia's longest tunnel after its completion and it is being constructed in Jammu and Kashmir to establish all weather connectivity for Ladakh Okay So 19 tunnels are being constructed in Jammu and Kashmir at a cost of 25000 crore rupees of which the major one is this zojila tunnel so with the construction of this 14.15 km tunnel there will be an all weather connectivity for ladakh which will actually cut down the travel time to cross this zojila pass from 3 hours to 20 minutes okay so zojila tunnel is being constructed in jammu and kashmir next is Incident and trafficking database is the information database of which international organization So this incident and trafficking database is International Atomic Energy Agency's information system of incidents of unauthorized activities and illicit trafficking that involves the radioactive materials outside the purview of regulatory control And as per the recently released annual fact sheet of ITDB a total of 146 incidents of illegal or unauthorized activities involve nuclear and other type of radioactive material were reported in the year 2022 fine so this is the information database of international atomic energy agency next is where was the international conference on defense finance and economics 2023 held So this international conference on defense finance economics was a 3 day event that was held in New Delhi from 12th of April to 14th of April 2023. And this conference basically provided a platform to discuss the defense finance and economics in the context of changing security scenarios. And the conference was organized by Ministry of Defense and it was inaugurated by the union defense minister rajnath singh fine so what was the venue for international conference on defense finance and economics 2023 answer would be new delhi next is government communications headquarters is associated 
with which particular country so commonly it is known as gc hq and it is an intelligence and security organization of united kingdom which is responsible for providing the signals intelligence and information assurance to the government and the armed forces of uk so why it was in news because any keist butler has been announced as the new director of gc hq thereby becoming the first woman to lead the uk's intelligence cyber and security agency gc hq fine so it is associated with the country uk and it is in news because any keist butler has become its new director next is what is the name of india's first semi high speed regional rail services which is being implemented in ncr so india's first semi high speed regional rail services has been named as rapid x by the national capital region transport corporation and these trains will run on the regional rapid transit system corridors which would actually connect the key urban nodes across the national capital region so this project is implemented by ncrtc which is a joint venture company of the union government and the states of delhi haryana rajasthan and uttar pradesh fine so the name of india's first semi high speed regional rail services is rapid x next question is goan painting belongs to which particular state so this painting belongs to the state of madhya pradesh and it is an art form that is associated with the goan tribe and it features unique style and theme and why it was in news because the painting has recently received the gi tag fine also tamil nadu's othur betel leaves have also received the gi tag basically geographical indication that is gi is a sign that is used on the products that have a specific geographical origin and possess qualities or a reputation that are due to that origin fine so goan painting belongs to madhya pradesh state and it is in news because recently it has got the gi tag now these days nikobari hut is also in news why because it is said to receive the gi tag and it is famous for its unique eco friendly design and earthquake resistant construction also earlier the gi tag for traditional hodi which is an outrigger cano was given to this region and basically it has an inverted helmet shaped hut with wood and palm fronts which maintains a pleasant temperature despite the hot and humid tropical climate of andaman and nicobar island so these huts are totally earthquake resistant so you can be asked that nicobari hut is prevalently found in which state or the union territory answer is andaman and nicobar islands next is exercise bali katan is a defense exercise between which two countries so us and the philippines have launched their largest combat exercise named as bali katan and this exercise is launched in waters across the south china sea and the taiwan strait so this exercise would witness the participation of more than 17600 military personnel and the drills will include the live fire exercises and a boat sinking rocket assault basically this exercise is a defense exercise between usa and philippines next is akhara is an important railway station in which country so agartala akhara new rail link project is an under construction rail link project that connects the agartala and akhara agartala lies in tripura state and this akhara lies in bangladesh country so this is strategically important project would be a game changer and it will boost economic relationship between india and bangladesh so under the project there will be an integrated checkpoint next to the nischintapur railway yard that will connect the travelers to the agartala akhara railing station fine so this akhara is an important railway station in bangladesh country Next is which state has decided to implement the state millet mission scheme 
So the state cabinet of Madhya Pradesh has decided to implement the Madhya Pradesh State Millet Mission Scheme, and the duration of the scheme will be of two years. That means from twenty twenty three to twenty four and twenty twenty four and twenty five, with an expenditure of over twenty three crore rupees. So this scheme will be implemented in all the district through the director, farmers, welfare, and agriculture development. Fine. So which state has decided to implement this state millet mission scheme? Answer would be Madhya Pradesh. Next question is. Who was the ninth guru of the Sikh religion? So Guru Tegh Bahadur is the ninth out of ten gurus who founded the Sikh religion, and Parikash Purab of Guru Tegh Bahadur is celebrated every year on 11th of April, and he was the leader of Sikhs from 1665 until his death in 1675. So he was the youngest son of the sixth Sikh guru. Guru Har Gobind, okay. So who was the ninth Guru of the Sikh religion? Answer would be Guru Tegh Bahadur. Also recently, Reserve Bank of India has announced the framework for the acceptance of the green deposits of regulated entities, and the idea is to foster and develop a green finance ecosystem in the country. And this framework shall come into effect from first of June twenty. 23 fine so you can be asked which institution announced a framework for acceptance of green deposit answer would be reserve bank of india so these are the most important current affairs and the news from today and now let's start with our revision session in which we are starting a new month that is march month for current affairs revision and this is part 1 in this series and total there would be 16 lectures in this series So today we'll be doing the questions from question number one up to question number fifteen. Which city is the host of the W twenty inception meeting under India's G twenty presidency? Basically, W twenty is Women Twenty, and it is an official engagement group under the G twenty, which was established during the Turkish presidency in two thousand fifteen. And Aurangabad hosted the W twenty inception meeting. and then this will be followed by two other w20 international meetings at jaipur rajasthan in the month of april and the w20 summit in mahabalipuram tamil nadu in the month of june okay which is the first platform to launch upi light payment answer is paytm payments bank so recently it has become the first platform to launch the upi light payment to enable quick and seamless transaction of up to Two hundred rupees without having to enter a pin to make a payment, and UPI Light is enabled by NPCI, and it helps the users to carry out multiple type of small value UPI transactions without using a pin. Baba Sahib Ambedkar Yatra Tour is a part of which initiative? So IRCTC means the Indian Railway Catering and Tourism Corporation has announced a tour package. named as baba sahib ambedkar yatra and this tour package covers some significant site that are associated with the life of dr bhimrao ambedkar basically the tour is the part of dekho apna desh initiative to promote domestic tourism elephant conservation network has been recently formed in which state or the union territory so assam based non profit organization named as aranyak has formed a network of local communities called as elephant conservation network why to tackle the issue of human elephant conflict in the state of assam okay which state or the union territory hosted the snow festival that is winter carnival answer would be jammu and kashmir so this snow festival was organized in the rafiabad area of barmulla district in jammu and kashmir and aim is to promote village tourism and local culture in baramulla and the festival was organized by the district administration of baramulla next is defender of the fatherland day is predominantly celebrated in which region so this day is celebrated in turkmenistan then kyrgyzstan kazakhstan tajikistan and belarus so basically except for 
Kazakhstan. Other countries observe this day on 23rd of February, while Kazakhstan observes this day on 7th of May. Okay, so this day is observed to commemorate the first mass draft into the Red Army during the Russian Civil War, and also it is now a state holiday in Russia. So answer would be here Central Asia. Which Indian has been nominated by the U.S. President Joe Biden to lead the World Bank? This is Ajay Banga. So U.S. President Joe Biden announced that the country is nominating Mr. Ajay Banga to lead the World Bank, and he served as a vice chairman at the General Atlantic. Also, he was the president and CEO of Mastercard and was awarded the Padma Shri in 2016. Which state is the host of the Global Responsible Tourism Summit? Answer would be Kerala. Kerala entered into the agreement with United Nations Women to boost the women-friendly activities in the state's tourism sector, and it was signed during the first ever Global Responsible Tourism Summit in the state of Kerala. Also, a memorandum of understanding was agreed to work towards promoting gender-inclusive tourism sites in the state. Which neighboring country of India signed memorandum of understanding with International Solar Alliance to increase the use of solar energy? So, the government of Bangladesh signed an agreement with the International Solar Alliance to increase the use of solar energy in the country, and this agreement is to be implemented by December 2026. So Bangladesh has set up a target of generating 40% of its total energy through the renewable sources by 2041 and also it aims to produce nearly 4000 megawatt of solar power by the end of 2030 As per the International Monetary Fund which country has the potential to contribute 50% of the global growth in 2023 So as per the IMF India has the potential to contribute 50% of the global growth in 2023 and for financial year 2023 to 24 IMF had projected 6.1% GDP growth for India okay next is dhoroi wetland where a bird survey was conducted recently is located in which indian state so the second edition of the two day bird survey dhoroi 2023 was recently conducted at the dharoi wetland in the state of gujarat which country has launched a temporary salary support scheme and banned the job cuts this is the country turkey so turkey has launched a temporary salary support scheme and it has banned the job cuts in the southern provinces that are hit by the earthquake who was sevalal maharaj who was seen in the news recently he was actually a spiritual leader and recently the union ministry of culture is started the celebrations of the sevalal maharaj jayanti at dr bhim rao ambedkar international center in new delhi and this was his 284th birth anniversary which state is said to get india's first marina so karnataka has decided to get india's first marina which will be constructed in its udupi district and this project has been initiated to promote the coastal tourism in the state which country is set to host exercise cobra warrior 2023 answer is uk so exercise cobra warrior is a multilateral air exercise in which air forces from finland sweden south africa us and singapore participated alongside royal air force and indian air force so here answer would be uk So these are the first 15 questions for the month of March and tomorrow we will be taking it ahead from question number 16 up to question number 30. Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to GK today. With this Meenu Zahad Sana signing off.